Walking that bitch on my toilet. Walking that bitch with the O's. They bit it, they bite it, they look. Hello everybody and welcome to other MX Bikes video and today guys we got a huge decision to make in this video okay the day you're watching this will be round three of the aerial season I'm doing the 450 class because I'll be doing 250 east I think round four or five is when that hits um we need to choose a different bike okay or we stick with the Suzuki I don't know yet um the Suzuki much less power I want to give these other bikes a try I haven't really ridden the KTM or the Husky too much that's what people have been on so Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna having some fun here, and we're getting right into this race. We're starting on the KTM, and again, having her in this bike literally at all. So, just put a rando suspension on it, set up, and we'll see if it uh, lives up to the hype. So far, obviously, the power difference is insane. We got murked out front. Uh oh, there's a little mistake I made. Suspension's so much different on this bike. Unreal. Let's only focus up here and let's see if we can. I mean, obviously, we want to win, but I don't know. It might be kind of shooting too high. Coming through the whoops there. We're going to get into the lead. Let's lead a couple laps. Why not? Need to really focus up. For whatever reason, my eyeballs are really, like, itchy today. Might just be really dry. Real annoying though. Now apparently tomorrow is supposed to maybe be a mudder is what I'm hearing. It's not confirmed yet. Obviously you'll know when this video drops because the track will already be out. But yeah, I don't know how I feel about a mudder. I'm not against it. You know, I just I don't know what it's gonna be yet. But we'll see. It could be super fun. You know, I just I like seeing more diversity in tracks in this game. I think it's cool. I think this track was really good though. I think a lot of people had a lot of positive feedback for it, so. Yeah, the ruts, I think the ruts are here to stay. We'll see, we'll see what he does for a mud track. Could be really interesting. I feel like that's never been done in this game, at least to my knowledge. A muddy supercross track. Now obviously you can make it muddy with weather and stuff, but actually make a pre-made mutter is gonna be pretty cool okay I'm like choking right now you guys are battling so we need to try to take advantage these are pro guys behind me so these are not just random They're not just randos these are fast people I went for this triple in yeah I probably will eventually just taking safe lines until I need to get on the gas pedal. Merc is already up my arse, so probably gonna have to get on the gas pedal. I like this bike. I like the weight. It's definitely a bit lighter. It feels like it scrubs good. It's really good in the whoops. Definitely a different way of hitting the whoops, but it feels like it just glides them. And the power delivery, man, is <laughs> it's a huge difference. It's kind of crazy. Doesn't mean we'll run faster laps, obviously, just because you have more power. Doesn't mean you're gonna run better laps, but I keep missing this inside, which is gonna lose us a lot of time. On the inside there. Where'd he go? What happened? Did he case that? I don't know what happened. But I didn't net code him. Because if he catches me, he's gonna send me to Narnia. We are moving right now. I, I swear on my life, first time riding this bike in like three weeks, probably, or since my last video on it. Well, right as I say that, we obviously crash in probably the stupidest way humanly possible. But I'm liking the bike. That's the main point of this video. We gotta find something we like, and so far I'm like riding completely fine on it. And with it feeling so different, I'm kind of surprised that it's... I'm not crashing or anything. I'm feel pretty consistent. Let's see if we can try to keep up with Merc here. That ain't gonna be easy. I keep missing this rut. I don't know why. Well, obviously I'm going too far outside, but I don't know why. I'd be try. I'd be looking right at the entrance of the rut, but my front wheel don't go there. We hit this quad line. We somehow hit it. I don't even know. Suspension on this thing is crazy. 
Oh no. A little mistake there. Mistake here too. We're still gonna clear. It's crazy how much you can stretch jumps on this bike. Like it has so much freaking power. I'm guessing the Husky's gonna be pretty similar. Usually is. And we really did choke this race. Oh, that was a terrible entry to the whoops, but just jump out of him. Still in striking distance here. If he goes down, we'll definitely get the lead. I'm interested to see what my lap times are after this. Oh, we made a mistake. Okay, we got the insider at that time. We're on him. We are on him. It's not over. A ton of lappers coming up as well. Got a quad line. Roy, we're gonna be fine. Let's go double here. Damn, he got right through the lappers. Lucky man. This guy just cross jumped the entire track. Oh my god. You are so horrible. I'm joking. No, actually, no, I'm not joking. You're horrible. No, dude, that was gonna be a good race. We've been at least close. Now it's over, unless he goes down. Dang it, man. I hate, bro, the lappers in this game recently. It was, it's the same way it was on an aural test track when that dropped. I don't know. I, it could be a good thing because the game's growing, but man, people just don't, like, they don't even attempt to look. They just, I don't know. I, I'm just not that way. I'm just a different type of person, I think, because I, I didn't play online in this game for the first two months because I was scared to crash people. Like, that's how much I didn't want to ruin people's races. Which, I'm not asking people to not play online, but, like, if you are and you are you know you're not good, like, you need to pay attention, bro, because it really is just a waste of people's time if you're just crashing them. This murked right here? Wait a second. Whoa. Wait a second. Oh, he almost died there. No way. Definitely a Dallas thing in the whoops. I'm kind of not doing very good in them. Alright, well, we got close. I think we would have won if we didn't get destroyed there, but it is what it is. I am in love with this KTM so far, so... We might be on this thing tomorrow, boys. I don't know. Alright, boys. Husqvarna time. Used to love this bike. Loved it in outdoors. So, if I had to guess which bike I'm going to choose between KTM and this, I would personally think I'd choose this. But, I mean, we actually ran a, a 58 lap time during that previous race, which... On the Suzuki, like, I've ran in the 58, so that's how I qualified for NA. But, I feel like in races, I've been kind of just consistently high 59s and stuff like that, so... I mean, the fact I did that first race running a 58 is uh, definitely telling that... The bike is fast, and I also didn't hit this big line in this section at all. What the heck just happened? Alright, well they just put the server to mud, which I was not expecting, but honestly, I'm not too mad about it because tomorrow could be a mudder, or the day you're watching this, you'll already know. Um, but I do imagine if it is going to be a mudder, the track is going to be a lot more rough. Well, that's going to be interesting to see. So this is a good little test here. On this bike, I'll do a I'll do a lap here, then we'll get into a race. And I want to do another race on the Suzuki just to test it out as well. Compare all these three. Because maybe I don't know. Maybe I just haven't been trying on the Suzuki. Maybe I could run the same lap times. We'll see. Definitely not a fan of this thing through the whoops. Feels very heavy in the back end of this bike, which I do like for outdoors, but I'm not sure. It works very well in Supercross. I don't know if I'm a big fan of it. Anyway, let's get into the race. Alright, I just joined another server. I don't think... I don't even know what I was thinking. We can't do a wet race. It just isn't a fair comparison. Either way, whatever bike I think is the best on normal conditions, we'll ride tomorrow whether it's wet or not. Um, but yeah, that KTM felt good. We'll see how the Husky feels. Definitely have more time on the KTM after the recent update than this bike. I don't think I've ridden this bike like literally at all. So, uh, this is going to be interesting here. We're in the RD Deddy now. Still a decent amount of pros in here as well. So, still should be very good racing. We obviously want the win, but mostly I just need to fill the bike out and see if this is something we want to run tomorrow. We 
Maybe we can get a good start. Let's see how this thing jumps off the start. Suzuki is pretty bad off the start, so this could actually be good for starts as well. Oh, way better. Look at that. Tuck right in mind, Darius. I got launched by MTB57. Nice job, bro. You ruined both of our starts. Very smart dude you are. Very genius. I mean, that was definitely... Hopefully it was net code. I don't know why you would just run into me like that. Or try to go up my inside. It's like... If I just ran into Darius right there off that start for just no reason. Like, we're in first and second. This dude was in third, and he just runs into me. It just, it just doesn't make any sense, logically. It's like a Vince Freezy move where he took Dean Wilson out. You know what I mean? It's just like some people's brains just don't be functioning, apparently. Please get out of the way, I beg you. Nice cross jump, bro. Like, bro, this guy is terrible. Oh my god, I need to stop getting worked up, bro. I, this stuff just, it just makes me so mad. I just don't get it. Oh my god. Get out of the way, bro. That's what it is, bro. Can't do nothing about it. I thought I'd just wait on these dudes. Please go down. Thank you. Thought that dude was going to cross from me. We got lucky. That was going to get mooned. But bike is feeling really good so far. Very similar to the KTM. Oh, no. <laughs> Same guy. I literally could not stop there. I was wide open in the sand. If I try to stop it, just go over the bars. Oh, we're so far down already, man. Not over, though, I guess. Let's start taking this inside line. Should be able to gain time on Darius here. Not really sure how quick he is, to be honest. I beat him earlier. I think me and Ashton will probably be one and two in a little bit here. What the heck was that? That was weird. Just washed the front. Never happened to me. Interesting. Looks like Darius isn't too far ahead either, so we're getting close. There's so many cuts, I think. Oh no. Because I'm behind Ashton, but I just passed him, I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh my. I gotta get used to this power. This is crazy. I can hit these big lines probably pretty easy. I need to go for the big line there. Uh oh. Not a great whoops entry. I thought that bike was about to go straight all the way over to the left. Alright, we're catching Darius. It's not over. It's him right there on the Yamaha. Getting them big time. Going triple in here. Holy crap, I OJ'd it. It's gonna go triple quad, but didn't have enough run up. I'm liking this a lot, dude. I don't know if I like it as much as the KTM. It's very close. 
like for the whoops, definitely like the KTM more, but maybe I just fix suspension a little bit. Might ask around for a setup as well, because I know there's some pretty fast dudes that got good setups. I'm just using a public pro precision setup right now, just like a baseline setup, so. Not a bad setup by any means, but I don't know, I guess it could be a little bit better in the whoopies. Might just be hitting them wrong, but we're reeling in Darius. Ashton's right behind us, it seems like, or our cuts are making it seem that way. Gonna go over the ruddy. I've been there, bro. It was like a couple days ago, I was playing this track, and I just, I kept going over ruts, and I was like losing my mind. I like checked my settings, I'm like, bro, something's not right, but no, everything was fine. Then I got on the next day, and I was just chilling. I don't know what's going on. It's all mental. Alright, I want to see what my lap times are. I think this is a 58 if we can finish it. Please look behind you. This is a very good lap. We can get this inside. Nice. 58.9. There you go. So, I mean, that's exactly what we ran on the KTM. Bro, I... This might be the worst day of getting taken out of my life on this game. It is so... It's every race, bro. Like, I... I can't, dude. I literally can't. Like, what? why would you re-enter there? I'm dead again, aren't I? Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Just, like, simple stuff that people do wrong that crashes me. Apparently, I'm just the, the guy that's there every time. Please look behind you, my guy. What the flip was that? Ash was gonna get sent there. Oh, here we go. Holy crap. I mean, yeah, we're down three seconds on cuts. So we're gonna have to gap him this lap or take him out, which yeah, it is what it is. If I beat him straight up, then it doesn't really matter what cuts say. Took this quad line. Oh no, I messed it up. Go! I'm dead. Definitely doesn't have like the rebound that, that KTM had. What am I doing? Get a pass in there. Still get him here. He's on a 250. Might be able to get him in the whoop, see if we get her on. No. Oh, maybe. Oh, I cleaned him, bro. That's on me, bro. Oh my god, bro. Anyways, guys, I'm a very clean rider that does nothing wrong to anybody. Um, very perfect human as well. Anyway, uh, we're gonna go to the Suzuki race. Alright boys, I'm gonna go full tryhard sweat mode this race. I am not playing around. Full sweaty tryhard. We're gonna try this bike out. I was gonna do a race on the Suzuki, but I mean, I've been doing that all day. There's no reason to, so we're getting on this Yami, because I think it's another viable option. Let's see what we can do here. Very good off the starts, that's confirmed. Let's see what we can do here. Mess that rhythm up, but it's not the end of the world. Me and Darius out here, he's also on the Yamaha. Oh, he's gonna make a mistake in the whoops. I don't think this bike is that good in the whoops. I think that might be the biggest downfall of it, to be honest. Also notice the front end, there we go, is super light. It loves to just fold. I don't even know. Maybe it's too... I don't I mean, it feels light, but... 
I don't know the terminology of why the front tucks. It, there's something, it tucks for some reason. It's like I have cheese sex in the bike. That's what it feels like. Um, maybe it works opposite in this game. Light front end tucks more than like if you put weight on it. Because that's why Chase tucks so much. Because he was putting too much weight on the front end. And he would just go past that limit. killed smuds there. I was thinking about it. It was crossing over. But I mean, we ran a 59 in practice, so it's not like we can't run a good lap on it. And we're just executing in the race. Oh, I got so lucky there. I just guess which side his bike was going to go. Like my chances against Darius, I'm not going to lie. Holy. Again, right there. I saw it before the rut. The front almost tucked. So I'm a bit confused of why that's happening. Uh oh. Covered that pretty good. We need to follow this triple line he's hitting here. There we go. We got the big line. Carry the speed around this corner. Let's grab that. Carry the speed over the triple and then case it because I'm bad. That's a good line right there. We could actually run a 58 here, maybe. Great whoops run. Wait a second, bro. This bike's kind of barking. Oh, yeah, we got the rut, too. Yeah, 59.1 mid-race. That's only 2.2 .2 off both the Husky and KTM times. So they're all basically the same speed for me. So that's interesting. Maybe it just doesn't matter what bike you ride. Maybe all the bikes are good. Unless you do that. Like a dumb, dumb head. Oh, man, I've been playing this game too much, bro. I just want to win this now. I can get off this game for the next 20 hours. This guy again, who, who is this guy? Is this guy in second? This is Darius. What? Bro, this bike don't make no sense, bro. What was that? What the heck? It's so light. It, it almost feels like a factory bike, except the weight feels like it's all in the back end. It's, but it's not like the Husky. Like, the Husky really felt heavy in the back, which almost kind of weighed, to me, it weighed down, like, the whole bike. It felt very stable. This bike just feels like back end weighed down a little bit, but the front end is, like, so light, dude. Might even hit the big line. He's hitting it. Oh, almost tucked there, too. I don't know, man. KTM and Husky, it feels like you can lean it over all the way. It just won't tuck. It feels so reliable. Same with the Suzuki. Brother. Brother. My brother. My brother. Gap now. Quad line. My brother. Bro, do people not have like the look back button binded to their controller? I don't. I like. I don't get it, bro. I'm going to lose my mind. It's so easy to do. You just look back. I don't. I don't get it. What? 
What the hell? Anyway, I don't know. I like all three bikes. This is definitely my least favorite. KTM and Husky is like tied, bro. I mean, I felt really good on that KTM. Husky wasn't too bad either. I think all these bikes are viable. Even the Suzuki isn't bad. Like, I'm not trying to get on another bike because it's bad. I just, I don't, I need to try something different. You know what I mean? But I'll probably, I'll probably still end up riding the Suzuki to be honest. I also just got new graphics for it for the race as well, so I would feel like a kind of an asshole to not race with it. These are all pretty good bikes, running decent times with them. Definitely not blazing the course, but for first rides on them in a while, it's not bad. Last lap, I might have one more, I don't remember. One more lap, all right, let's make it a burner. 58 right here, come on. That ruined the 58 right there. What am I doing? I don't even know how I'm still alive. Not over. Good whoops run. It fixed a lot of problems. I'm pinning it. I don't care. Rip. Rip me. Still gonna get the dub though. Which will take that. Interesting video today, man. I don't really know what to do, but I do like that we tried some other stuff. Found out that, honestly, we're pretty freaking good on most bikes. Nothing's really too hard or too different, to be honest. I think most of the 450s are viable. 250s, I think, is a little bit of a different story. But, man, you see all these dudes out on KTMs and stuff. Like, bro, you can get on any of these bikes and, and rip them. So, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Peace.